It comes as no surprise, really, that certain minerals are considered harmful, even deadly. The team first discovered arianites linked to cancer in the Cappadocia region of Turkey. For some, these are easy to avoid, but for others, it's not quite that simple. Ah, look at this. What do we got? What do we got? From the phosphate mineral that has links to lung cancer, to asbestos, which was once used to make commercial and industrial products, here are 15 most dangerous minerals in the world. Number 15, Torbernite. This rich green crystal has similarities to an emerald, but don't let its beauty fool you. A radioactive mineral, torbernite, should be avoided at all times. Considered the mineral from hell, the green crystals are composed of hydrated green copper, phosphate, and uranium, and can produce radon gas capable of causing lung cancer. Although striking to look at, the bright green crystals are the first indicator of its radioactive properties. Now, we're not talking about the endless comic book, television, and movie screen superheroes and villains who have gained powers from radiation. We're talking nasty, life-threatening stuff. Torbernite is valued and sought after as a collector's mineral due to its well-developed and distinctive crystals and the fact that it can be used as a good indicator of uranium deposits. The mineral is abundant in Cornwall, England, in Katanga Province, and the Congo. As with all dangerous substances, collectors are urged to take proper precautions when handling and storing any torbernite specimens. Adequate ventilation is a key component to ensuring the radioactive radon gas responsible for lung cancer isn't trapped inside or, worse still, inhaled. This does, however, increase the dehydration rate of the mineral, but that's neither here nor there when it comes to human life, surely. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 4. Crocidolite Blue Asbestos Asbestos. Need I say more? This mineral has a reputation for being the world's most dangerous mineral, one it has earned thanks to its links with fatal diseases such as lung and stomach cancer. Officially labeled crocidolite, but better known as blue asbestos, it was once widely used for a variety of commercial and industrial applications. The analyst searches through a sample to locate and identify suspect asbestos fibers. Popular amongst construction workers, workers and painters, the product is strong, fire-resistant, and flexible. It was said to have poor heat-resistant properties, surprising given it was commonly used to insulate steam engines. It can often still be found in older ceiling tiles, roofing materials, flooring, and thermal insulation. In fact, many demolition crews have come across the dangerous mineral when pulling down old buildings. Crocidolite was once mined in Western Australia, Bolivia, and South Africa, but with the significant health risks posing a real problem for the industry, production ceased. One of the worst of these incidents was in the town of Wittenoom in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. Between 1943 and 1966, more than 1,000 miners and residents of the township died of diseases linked to sustained exposure to the mineral. Asbestos is considered so dangerous that the leading health agencies across the globe classify it as a cancer-causing substance, with crocidolite topping the list. Now that's not the sort of reputation you want for a mineral, is it? Number 13, Arianite. Did you know that this little-known substance could be found in volcanic ash? Arianite is a naturally occurring fibrous mineral from the zeolite family and is most commonly found in the debris following a volcanic eruption. If this fact alone has you thinking it must be dangerous, you would be right. Can contain such high levels of the mineral arianite. The mineral forms brittle, wool-like, fibrous masses in the hollows of rock formations, and although some of its properties are similar to asbestos, it's not currently regulated by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. There are also no occupational exposure limits imposed on the mineral, which is a concern given its carcinogenic properties. 
Alliance. The International Agency for Research on Cancer have it listed as a Group 1 carcinogen, linking it to two rare forms of cancer, pleural, cancer of the cavity between each lung, and peritoneal mesothelioma, cancer of the abdominal lining. This cancer is common in those exposed to arionite, particularly in the Cappadocia region of central Anatolia, where three villages were found to be contaminated with the mineral. Deposits of fibrous arionite have been found in Arizona, Dakota, Montana, Oregon, and Utah, with samples also detected in road dust in Nevada and in ambient air in the Intermountain West. In the past, occupational exposure occurred from arionite mining. However, this practice ceased in the late 1980s. Nowadays, exposure to the deadly mineral can still occur during the production and mining of other zeolites, which are still in commercial use. So, for miners in the affected areas, there's simply no escaping this potentially lethal substance. Number 12. Hydroxyapatite a major component and essential ingredient of normal bone mineral and the matrix of teeth, hydroxyapatite is considered dangerous. So too is the phosphorus in your garden fertilizer and fluoride in your tap water, but don't be alarmed, it's the quantities that matter. Each comes from a rock called apatite, with the hydroxyapatite version being a major component of your tooth enamel. And while having strong teeth and bones is a good thing, exposure Exposure to hydroxyapatite is not. The hydroxyapatite is one of the main components of tooth enamel. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your stance on the matter, you need to either be mining it or processing it to ingest enough of the mineral to do any significant damage to your internal organs. Excessive exposure will lead to hydroxyapatite deposits in your heart valves, effectively petrifying them. This information makes the fact that it's an ingredient in some variations of cornstarch-based baby powder more than a little concerning. It's also increasingly used to make bone grafting materials, dental prosthetics, bone building supplements, and although manufacturers claim they're free from contaminants, I wouldn't be keen on taking the risk, would you? What's more, if we look at hydroxyapatite's list of ingredients, we find they include hydrogen and phosphate. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas responsible for the Hindenburg disaster, and industrial chemical phosphate is used in fertilizer and can be a core ingredient in explosives. This mineral literally screams dangerous, if you ask me. Number 11, Phenocyte. A crystal that is believed to have the power to clear energy pathways in the body is home to a toxic element with deadly properties. Phenocyte is mined both in crystal and granite forms and contains beryllium. an element that has been proven to have links to lung cancer and severe lung inflammatory diseases. Traditionally, it was used as a base material in ceramics, special types of glass, and in fluorescent tubes. However, its use is now restricted to making metals and alloys for use in computer hardware, telecommunication equipment, windows for x-ray tubes, gyroscopes, missiles, and rockets. Phenocyte itself is mined near Yekaterinburg in Russia's Urals region, the Pikes Peak region of Colorado, USA, Minas Gerais in Brazil, as well as in Madagascar, Myanmar, Norway, and Zimbabwe. For those who believe in the power of crystals, it is considered an extremely powerful and intense stone, and became quite an expensive crystal because of this reputation. Phenocyte is highly sought after by metaphysicians and advanced crystal workers, due to its high energy frequency and vibration, and is said to help identify and release disease. A true multi-dimensional healer, Phenocyte is said to be excellent to use for nerve damage, brain imbalances, brain damage, and genetic disorders that limit brain function. Quite surprising, given that at least one of its ingredients is so toxic. Number 10. Quartz. A hard, crystalline mineral composed of silicon and oxygen atoms. It hardly sounds dangerous, does it? Well, don't be fooled. It can help you with your physical stamina, it can help you balance your emotions, it can help you think positively. Quartz might bring some fantastic properties to the party, but it is by no means safe. 
From optics and electronics to abrasives and fire starters, the mineral is the second most common in the world and the first most widely used by us humans. Valued as a fire starter, it is thought to have been the main driver behind mankind's earliest mining activity and is still used in radio and electronic watch components today. It is found in all forms of rock and is physically and chemically resistant to weathering, which is why it's so popular. Just don't grind it up and inhale it. It might sound a little crazy, but in powdered form, quartz has been linked to silicosis, a serious respiratory disease. Characterized by swollen lungs and lymph nodes, silicosis makes breathing difficult and can occur up to 20 years or so after exposure. The mineral can also give you lung cancer. To help mitigate the risks associated with quartz, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration have implemented strict guidelines for specific industries like mining, abrasives, and glass manufacturing. These guidelines dictate that workers wear fumigators to limit their silica intake. Even beachcombers should be careful because as quartz-bearing rocks become more weathered and eroded, the grains of resistant quartz are concentrated in the soil. Number 9. Fluorite If the term calcium fluoride sounds familiar, that's because it is. Calcium fluoride, commonly found in iron, coal, and copper, is also an ingredient in most toothpaste. In fact, those with the highest percentage are considered the most effective. Fluorite is a gorgeous green gemstone composed of calcium fluoride, but just like other minerals, you shouldn't let its beauty fool you. Green fluoride helps one ground nature's spiritual energy into the physical body. Its looks are merely skin deep. It's what lies beneath that can cause the real problems. Commonly seen in jewelry and the lenses of telescopes, fluorite can also be mixed with sulfuric acid producing hydrogen fluoride, an important component in many industrial chemicals. It can therefore be quite dangerous to handle, or for those living close to a fluorite mine, as it contains fluorine, a soluble mineral that leaches into groundwater supplies and can be absorbed by the lungs when in either dust form or burned in a coal-fired stove. Once ingested, fluorine causes the painful disease skeletal fluorosis. This disease weakens bones and damages joints, quite the opposite of what calcium fluoride is intended for. Many rural communities throughout India, China, and the rest of Southeast Asia have endured outbreaks of the disease after drinking contaminated water or inhaling the mineral as a fine particulate, with an estimated 10 million people thought to be afflicted by it in China's Guizhou province alone. Number 8. Pyrite Pyrite, also known as fool's gold due to its similarities to the precious metal, is a sulfide mineral composed of iron and sulfur. That's pyrite! You can see the big old difference right there, see all that? It is also a major contributor to the contamination of groundwater and streams due to acid mine drainage from sulfide mine tailings. These contaminants are the result of pyrite oxidation, where the mineral releases toxic metal and metalloids, including arsenic, into waterways. This well-known poison poses a severe threat to millions of people each year, including residents in the Guizhou province of China where pyrite is mined. Today, the mineral has very little value and is only mined for specimen purposes, as its byproducts, sulfur and sulfuric acid, can easily be collected from natural gas and oil processing instead. Sulfur and sulfuric acid are both used extensively throughout a variety of industries. Sulfur is present in everything from matches and tires to fungicides and fumigants. And sulfuric acid, although colorless and odorless, is a vital component in the manufacture of many chemicals, such as detergents, dyes, and pigments. It is also found in a number of explosives and drugs. Where one time pyrite was the only place to get them, now there are safer, more environmentally friendly ways of sourcing these products. Plus, pyrite has a nasty habit of spontaneously combusting, and we don't need that, do we? Number 7. Galena This mineral looks very much like coal, so it doesn't really come as a surprise that it's where we source our lead from. 
Galena, or lead glance, is the most important ore of lead and a source of silver. Fortunately, it is also one of the most abundant and widely distributed sulfide minerals. No doubt good news for the Romans who are said to have loved lead. They used it in everything from pipes and flux to paints and is a stone of energetic transformation. And today, not a lot has changed. We still rely heavily on the product. It is often found in batteries, bullets, high energy shielding such as x-ray blankets, and is even used as an additive to paints and gasoline. But it is dangerous. Not as dangerous as mercury, which can kill you within a matter of minutes, Galena is more of a silent killer, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Toxicity levels build up in the body over a number of years, eventually reaching fatal levels. Once that happens, both you and your offspring are in trouble. Lead toxicity is carcinogenic to you and is teratogenic to any unborn children, causing severe birth defects. As the primary ore of lead, galena is a relatively insoluble mineral which, if released into the environment, can cripple nervous system development in fetuses and children and cause cardiovascular disease in adults. When exposed to the elements, two byproducts are formed, sericite and anglesite. Both increase the amount of lead going into the environment and this poses an even greater health risk than galena itself. Number 6. Cinnabar Usually found in rocks that form near volcanic activity or in hot springs, cinnabar is a beautiful orange-red to dark red mineral. Prized for both its color and its mercury content, it was once ground into a powder to form a pigment called vermilion, used for art and decorations and occasionally cosmetics. Popular in ancient times for decorating burial chambers, the mineral is still used today in artists' paints, although it's often replaced by either synthetic or less toxic pigments. Made from a mercury sulfide compound, cinnabar is toxic to humans, although not quite as poisonous as other forms of mercury. It is produced near the Earth's surface from hot liquids that bubble up from deep within the Earth's core, and is produced in Spain, China, Italy, Serbia, Slovenia, and parts of the United States. Considered the most toxic mineral to handle, the name cinnabar means dragon's blood, with its bright red crystals signaling danger. If disturbed or heated, the mineral can cause tremors and even death. In fact, those who were sent to work in the Spanish mines that contained cinnabar formations in the Middle Ages and late 1700s considered it a death sentence. Now that's grim. Number 5. Orpiment When it comes to dangerous minerals, most people would have arsenic at the top of the list. It is one of the most common and extremely toxic to both humans and animals. In fact, if you come into contact with it in any form, it pays to be prepared. There are also a wide variety of minerals that include arsenic, and one of those is orpiment. A yellow substance, it is often mistaken for sulfur, not only because of its color, but because of where it is found. Too red or even sometimes brown. Often, both are found together in volcanically active areas. For those that know their minerals, orpiment has obvious leafy crystals that help to differentiate it from sulfur, but for the rest of us, it's a bit of a guessing game. Found naturally in hydrothermal vents, hot springs, and fumaroles, orpiment is soft and can be cut with a knife. When exposed to the light, it may crumble into a dangerous powder, leading to arsenic poisoning if handled incorrectly. So it might come as a surprise to know that orpiment was once used medicinally in China despite its toxicity. Then again, it might not. Number 4. Feldspar a major component of granite and most other igneous rocks, this mineral makes up approximately 60% of the Earth's crust. Feldspars are the most common mineral on the planet, crystallizing from magma in both intrusive and extrusive rocks. The term actually covers a whole family of minerals, all consisting of a common framework. This framework consists of aluminum, oxygen, and silicon atoms, plus an additive, normally potassium, sodium, or calcium. 
Feld spars vary in color from pink to gray depending on what additives they include. Some even contain two, sodium and calcium, or sodium and potassium. K feldspar, or potassium feldspar, is a group of potassium aluminum silicate minerals, including orthoclase, microclean, and adelaria. These contain small quantities of radioactive uranium that forms radon gas, a major cause of lung cancer. Not only that, but K feldspar is also a major source of lead emissions into the environment, as it is used to manufacture glass and ceramic products, artificial teeth, and scouring powder. Feldspars with a hardness of six. Some varieties of the mineral are also used as gemstones, and it's still produced in China, Italy, Thailand, USA, Brazil, Colombia, France, Germany, India, Mexico, Norway, and Spain, despite the significant threat it poses to life. Number three, chrysotile. White asbestos. The most commonly encountered form of asbestos, chrysotile, or white asbestos, accounts for approximately 95% of all asbestos exposure cases in the United States alone. A similar proportion has also been recorded in other countries as well. It has been widely publicized that chronic exposure to the mineral leads to progressive lung diseases, causing stiffening of the lung tissue. However, significant deposits Deposits of chrysotile asbestos are found in more than 60 countries around the globe. Mining of this particular form of asbestos was banned in more than 50 of those countries. However, Russia and China continue the practice to this day. Although Russia is the biggest chrysotile mining country in the world, China is its biggest consumer. The mineral is also still used in other countries, including the USA, who use it to produce vehicle braking systems, asphaltic roof coatings, and gaskets. It is used in other developing countries, such as Brazil and India, mainly as roofing material due to its exceptional insulating, fire-resistant, and reinforcing properties. Left undisturbed, asbestos is safe, but if it's exposed or damaged, it can be harmful, particularly if inhaled. Airborne asbestos fibers can get trapped in your lungs and build up over time, especially if you are frequently exposed to the substance. Number 2. Stibnite. A fascinating mineral, stibnite is an intricate looking crystal with elongated stems. Soft gray in color, it is a toxic antimony sulfide mineral whose paste has been used for thousands of years for cosmetics to darken the eyebrows and lashes. If that isn't quite bizarre enough, the mineral was also used to make eating utensils. These crystals can get up to two and a half centimeters to 30 centimeters long. Unsurprisingly, this practice caused poisoning from antimony ingestion, killing thousands of people. Doesn't take a genius to realize that was gonna happen, does it? Just like asbestos, stibnite was once widely used for a variety of commercial and industrial applications due to its strong, fire-resistant, and flexible properties. It grows thin, fibrous crystals that can easily break off and form dust particles. Hence, the danger of developing lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis from ingestion. Although beautiful with its sword-shaped crystals, stibnite has the power to kill you, with its use linked to many incidents of fatal food poisoning. Stibnite should be handled with immense caution, no surprises there. Number 1. Chalcanthite. Rare in nature, natural chalcanthite crystals are easily grown synthetically from copper sulfate solutions. They are very bioavailable and are toxic to both plants and humans, depending on their quantities. Well-formed crystals are easily grown synthetically from copper sulfate solutions, a process that includes dissolving common chemical salt and letting the water evaporate. This leaves behind a crystallized mass of chalcanthite chalcanthite that unscrupulous mineral dealers are known to sell as natural. If a chalcanthite crystal looks too good to be natural, it probably is. Good natural crystals are very hard to come across. 
They are frequently found in arid regions and dry caves, protected from moisture. The mineral is a brilliant blue and must be kept away from water and moist conditions as this causes it to crumble or dissolve. Collectors of calcanthite specimens often coat them with mineral oil and lacquer to seal them and prevent any possibility of corrosion. Calcanthite is both fragile and toxic, and care should be taken when handling any specimen. Precious minerals make the modern world go round. They're also some of the most toxic materials known to man. Excavation of some has even become so dangerous over the years that they've been phased out of industrial production altogether. Silent killers, these minerals should be avoided at all costs. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.